there everyone, Trizu here, and welcome to our Fallout 4 collection series. In this series, much like the previous two and three in New Vegas, I like to go around and fetch collectibles when I play Fallout. And so, I figured I'd record it as a bit of somewhat of a tutorial, and also somewhat of a just entertainment for myself and future playthroughs and anyone who's actually looking for these methods it should be fairly succinct way of getting through the whole game and well not necessarily lore wise as is previously mentioned in, in other versions lore has never been my specialty um, I leave that to other channels that do it far better than myself but it is absolutely my favorite thing to collect something so in Fallout 3 I did uh, bobbleheads and named weapons and in New Vegas I did snow globes and named weapons well in Fallout 4 there's a slight difference in how uh, named weapons were handled because they introduced the legendary weapon system where if you kill an enemy that's labeled as legendary you can get a specialized weapon or armor piece that has a legendary prefix to it which has certain effects unfortunately what that means is pretty much all of the named weapons are just a legendary prefix stuck on a weapon and then given a different name and so they don't feel as special and unique and a good portion of them all you have to do is buy them off vendors anyways um, so aside from a few weapons that are truly truly unique there's there's a handful um, which I might still go find uh, those aren't my specialty this time I will absolutely go and find the bobbleheads that are in this game but the other thing that I like to find in 4 is the magazines because in 3 in New Vegas magazines served a purpose of like well we'll bump this skill up a few points and uh, we'll or in New Vegas magazines like books and magazines I guess uh, lumped together would like books are permanently increase the skill by a couple points and magazines were increase it by like say 10 for an hour or so but in this the magazines are more permanent perk effects and I like to go find them um, because they are scattered around and they're uh, they're fun to put on display because each of them is unique looking and you can put up magazine racks and display them about your house so those are the two things I'm going to focus on with a few other additional things later on um, like I said a few of those truly unique weapons and then there are a couple special paint jobs for power armors that I love to get my hands on in uh, mostly in the expansions so that is our plan going forward today we're just getting started of course so we have to get past this whole thing with Codsworth first obviously actually contain, I think, nuclear material. Flies. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. More blowflies. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. <laughs> I like these people already. Oh, good. Maybe you'll get along then, and they can help you find young Sean. I shall remain here and secure the hope. doesn't get sarcasm much. Anyways. Now that we're done with Codsworth's little task, uh, I can bring you to today's task. Fortunately, there are a couple things right here at home. Although, that was my house originally, and this is where I'll be operating out of for now, because, let's be honest, 
it has the frickin' workshop. So, if we come in here, we actually find two collectibles right next to each other. First is our first issue of Grognak the Barbarian. Nice. Never left. After 210 years. Kind of amazed, actually, just sitting in the house on the counter like this. And the other is one that I hope everyone who knows Fallout 4 knows this, is the Your Special Book back here on the floor. You can take this, and it gives you an extra point to put somewhere. Um, I know exactly how I want my character set up, so I already did that ahead of time. The only thing that I really feel like I need an extra point or two in is actually charisma, just because it helps with bartering prices and speech checks. And I don't really care about charisma as a whole, but it is nice just to be able to get through some speech checks for XP and, you know, better outcomes to stuff. So we'll go with that. And this here is actually for one of my mods, this T-49 helmet. T-49 is not a normal uh, power armor, obviously. Um, it's just one of the mods that I have installed, which is basically to add this suit of power armor called the Armor of the Storyteller. If you're familiar with the Shoddy Cast lore series, you know who the Storyteller is. And he has a very unique set of power armor, and someone modded it straight into Fallout 4. Um, over yonder behind the vault actually is where the frame with half of the suit is and then a couple pieces are down at the red rocket over there so i'll get those in the meantime between episodes um and then also between episodes i'll clean up the neighborhood and get my camp sort of established here the way i want it but for the time being we have our first couple of magazines so we can call that a successful episode next time we can actually go after our first bobblehead and then move on past there and so, for such adventures, we will see you on the next video. Welcome to Fallout 4.